two years ago, we offered an online course at West Hill called Advanced Computer Science AB. This was the resurrection of an existing course from the College Board that was canceled several years before called AP Computer Science AB. AP Computer Science AB was a, an AP course, as the name uh, suggests, um, and it was canceled by the College Board because the uh, number of kids signing up for it was so low. But because it was an existing course, uh, the curriculum for it is extremely well defined. If you go on the internet right now uh, and look for Computer Science AB, you can still see several uh, resources to help you study for that now defunct exam. Here's an old Barron's book. Uh, here is uh, another uh, book that was used uh, to help students study for the exam. Anyway, what we want to do is uh, resurrect uh, resurrect this uh, uh, this course. And uh, given that the curriculum is already well established, uh, it's fairly easy for us and, and extremely well defined in terms of what material we have to provide. Now, two years ago when I offered this course, uh, I made a couple of mistakes. I didn't have enough material because I didn't realize that the students who take this exam are of the highest caliber. And uh, what I thought would take them months actually only took weeks. And so we need to uh, beef up the course a lot more than what was offered uh, two years ago. The other mistake, or not mistake, but because of time constraints, I, I used a lot of materials that were that were on YouTube and um, a lot of those materials do not belong to me and what I would like to do if, if we're going to build the course properly is go back and redo some of those videos so that we have ownership of all the materials in the course. What you're looking at right here is the early skeleton version using Google Course Builder uh, of this course and if you scroll down a little bit you can see that the syllabus is already well defined. I simply took the syllabus from an old Barron's book uh, that uh, allowed students to study for the AB exam and I've, I've, re I've co basically copied all the the topics over. Now the one small deviation that we're going to have from the official College Board uh, curriculum for this course is that in Unit 1 I want to add a section uh, on some advanced uh, Java topics that were not covered in Computer Science A. Specifically I want the student to understand how switch statements the conditional operator and enums work in Java. Um, these were not covered because they were not part of the AP Computer Science A subset, but I feel that uh, as a Java programmer, every, every Java programmer should understand these three important uh, features of the Java language. So other than that though, everything else is going to be exactly how the College Board had originally defined this course, uh, which consists basically of uh, learning uh, how to analyze algorithms for efficiency, and then there's uh, the biggest part of the course is really understanding data structures. So it will talk about linked lists, stacks, queues, priority queues, trees, heaps, sets, and maps. Uh, hashing is a huge part of this course. Uh, there's also some stuff uh, about sorting, quick sort and heap sort, uh, which were only touched upon in computer science. They are given much more thorough treatment here. And then there's also, uh, as I mentioned, unit six is hashing, and that's a big part of the course. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to build materials for this course, and you're going to become also familiar with Google Course Builder, how to use it, um, and insert quizzes and videos and tests and other materials to help the students along with this course. And the, the, the assignment basically is to do those things. So what do you need to do to prepare for your internship? Well, you need to become familiar with Google Course Builder, and the best way to do that is for you to download Google Course Builder on your home PC and build your own course. It, it doesn't even have to be a computer science course. Let's say you're an uh, expert in photography. Build a little uh, free Google um, Course Builder course on photography. Just add a, a, a couple of videos, maybe a, a quiz or two, some other materials, and that will get you extremely familiar with the Course Builder process. And then when you come uh, on site uh, in the last week of July, you'll be able to hit the ground running and add material to this course using Google Course Builder. Now, my strategy here is that the several of you that are working on this particular uh, internship, you'll probably end up uh, each taking a unit and uh, defining all the assets for that unit. So you'll, you'll flesh out, for example, let's say someone is building uh, Unit 3 data structures, they'll build all the study materials for linked lists, stacks, queues, priority queues, build videos on them, build tests, build quizzes for all that. And then we'll put it all together and uh, see how the course looks. 
you might be wondering when you make the study materials how difficult you should make them. And here you have a huge advantage because this course, as I said before, was an existing course. So in terms of the difficulty level of the quiz questions and the test questions, you can simply go back to an old Barron's book that uh, I will supply you uh, or some other study materials on CSAB you can find on the internet and simply copy some of those questions over, maybe just change them slightly. And that way we can replicate the exact same difficulty level that used to exist when this was an AP course.